If you are a beginner trader with a small account, these are the 5 free trading tools that will definitely help you out. Day trading is a business, it's not a hobby. It's a business that takes a lot of upfront capital and effort. And yes, I understand a lot of new traders need to start with a small account of $4,000 or $5,000. That's where I personally started. And that's why at the very beginning stages, it's important to take advantage of the free, useful trading tools to get started before you think about investing even more into scanners or your trading education. So in this video, I'll be sharing my top 5 absolutely free tools that all beginner traders should be using. These tools are great for technical analysis, understanding stock structure, finding and scanning for stocks to trade, and most importantly, backtesting your trading strategies. So if you would like to learn more about all these trading resources I just mentioned, make sure to smash the like button to get an extra free subscription of bad jokes. So the first resource I love using every single day is stockcharts.com. This is a free website for traders to look up tickers on either on the daily chart or the weekly chart. As you can see, the layout is extremely clean and easy to the eyes. You can even activate the crosshairs around to analyze the price levels. And scrolling down, you can add some more custom indicators on the charts as well. For the indicators on the chart, I just use a default 50 SMA and 200 SMA on the daily chart. But if you prefer to use some fancy sh like Ichimoku Cloud, Bollinger Band, and MACD, you can enable them down there as well on stockcharts.com. As you may have seen from many of my trading videos, I always start from the daily chart where I'm analyzing a gap up or drawing recent support and resistance levels. And that's why this website is a great place for me to start seeing the bigger picture before even jumping in to my broker platform to trade intraday. As you may remember from my buy overnight strategy video, I always start analyzing whether a stock could be a good could buy overnight on the daily chart and stockcharts.com is always a place for me to start. The second tool I love using is Finviz. I use Finviz as a free source of news I look up for many penny stock runners or large cap gappers in general. When you first land on the homepage, you can see the conditions of the market sectors such as tech, healthcare, and financials. So when the entire market was tanking a couple of weeks ago, everything here on the Finviz map is blood red. On the left side of the homepage is where you can see the top gainers and losers on the day. And more often than not, these are gonna be the small cap penny stocks. And once you click into the stock ticker symbol, is where you can do some of the most basic research on the stock. So up here on the stock summary is where you can quickly look at the float of the stock, which is important if you're trading small cap penny stock runners. A low float will be a stock below 5 million. And if it's anything close to 1 million or below 1 million, then that would be a micro float. So a few other information here that's important for day trading are market cap, institutional ownership, daily average volume, and short percentage. If you were investing or doing some longer term swing trading, then you might also want to read into the earnings, PE ratio, and other fundamentals here on Finviz. And below the key summary of the stock is where you can see the most recent headlines from various news resources in chronological order. And as day traders, it's important to know all the headlines before buying a stock. Another feature I love to use on Finviz is their free stock screener for evening scans. And let me show you how to use that right now. Okay, so right now we're at finviz.com and when you're in here, you click screener. This is the Finviz free screener over here. And I like to input the following filters. I use Na I trade NASDAQ and market cap. Usually I'll scan for things under 2 billion. Relative volume, I want to see over one to see a volume increase. And average daily volume, I want to see over 500K. The criteria as we talked about earlier. Current volume, of course, 
followers over 500k and price you can put this at your discretion for overnight play or playing at the open but for the ex example let's do um, under $20 and when you are done, you can click charts and Finviz will show you a little snapshot of you know, the daily charts of the stocks that meet your criteria up here. And also another thing is by default, the screener will show you the technical charts. But if you click candle, you can see a lot closer to the closer time frame on the daily. So if, we, if I'm looking for stocks to swing overnight, uh, I want to see how the reason I don't like this chart. I don't play anything below a dollar. I just don't like that. AEMD, this looks pretty nice. Like from the screenshot, you can see that this increase of volume and the daily curl, which what we talked about, we want this current daily candle to close above the previous resistance, right? According to criteria number one. But this is a potential, so you can keep that on watch. Um, I don't like this, I don't like that. This is possible if AKRX, if we close above the screen candle right here, because that's a resistance level. But you can keep that on watch. None of this is for me. This one, maybe if we can close above $1.40, but the daily volume is not enough, so that's not good. This, Cara, this looks nice actually. Like the daily volume, there's a slight increase, and we're closing above the previous resistance of the previous resistance. There's room on the daily chart to around $20. So you can keep that on watch as well for a possible swing overnight and or playing at the open during intraday. But again, this just gives you a snapshot of what a daily looks like. On Finviz, there is a delay, so that's why it's important to pick the stocks you want to look at from here and then go to your broker and look at how it's trading intraday again but this is just a really quick way to scan for stocks to trade like fcel this looks really nice for an overnight candidate this chart we're closing near the previous resistance and there's increase of volume so that looks nice so that's why i will look for insg this one looks nice as well you can see we're closing above nine dollar again you want to go to your own broker and zoom out and see what a daily chart on a bigger time frame looks like i and o as well we're closing above the previous resistance over here and we have upside to the tip of this candle and possibly four dollars so this is how you quickly look for potential overnight trades really quickly here and again you want to make sure it meets our criteria number one and criteria number two so nlnk that looks kind of nice as long as we close above these resistance area right here so this is how you can quickly scan for stocks to possibly buy overnight for a swing and again you can go in and adjust all these filters up here in your finvis scan so the third free trading tool I want to show you has been extremely crucial with my SEC filings research and that's the website Investopedia. On this website is where you can find out what is a form S1, S3 and what is an offering, what is a reverse split stock, etc, etc. And whenever I see any other terms in the SEC filings that I do not understand, Investopedia usually has the answer for me. I have made two videos previously on reading SEC filings and how to find potential dilution and offerings. Investopedia definitely helped a lot. And once you understand the key terms, you can head on over to BAM SEC. This is another free website that allow you to look up and read the actual SEC filings that we mentioned earlier. The fourth free trading tool that all beginners should be using is this YouTube channel right here. I've done so many videos on day trading strategies, trading large caps and small cap penny stocks, scanner setups and tutorials. So if you like what you're seeing so far, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. There's literally something here for everyone. Okay, all jokes aside, the fourth tool that beginner traders will find useful, and again, it's absolutely free, is Weeble. Weeble is a free commission trading app, but I would only recommend using it for paper trading and using the pre-market scanner features. And the reason I don't really recommend using free commission brokers like Weeble and Robinhood is because the execution fills and speed can be really delayed when you're trading live. And that's especially true if you're trading at the open, playing low float penny stocks, or in a volatile market condition like we're in right now. I've heard so many terrifying stories of traders buying low float penny stocks and not being able to sell on time because they're using these free commission brokers. So use them at your own risk if you decide to go live. 
But that being said, I still think Weibo is a great option for paper trading because they provide you live trading data for free. And if you sign up to Weibo using my referral link down below and deposit $100, you'll receive two free stocks worth anywhere from $8 to $1,000. That's free money right there. Besides paper trading, Weibo also gives you a pretty decent pre-market scanner to use for free. I have a video tutorial on Weibo and the scanner settings if you want to check that out. Speaking of scanners, our next tool also has a pretty decent pre-market scanner. It's the Thinkorswim platform. Just like Weibo, the Thinkorswim pre-market scanner is free to use with a live account. But of course, the features are going to be somewhat limited and not as extensive as Trade Ideas or Benzinga. But it's really enough to get you started as a beginner trader. Just a reminder though, the Thinkorswim scanner can only be enabled if you're in a live account and not available in paper trading. But the real useful tool I want to talk to you about is the on-demand feature on Thinkorswim. This tool allows you to go back in time and replay the ticker you want to trade. So let's say I want to go back in time and practice buying the dip on a low float penny stock. I can go into Thinkorswim on demand, select a date and time in the past, and voila, I'm back trading in history. There's options to adjust the speed of the playback if you want, but if you really, really want to learn price action on a trading strategy, I would highly recommend to go back and practice in real time. In Thinkorswim on demand, you still get the same buy and sell buttons to practice your executions. This is where I come in and imagine myself making Lamborghini money. This tool is so useful for backtesting. It's free to use on a live trading account. So if you're in the US, you need $500 to open up the account with TD Thinkorswim. If you're Canadian like myself, you'll need $5,000 US minimum in order to open the account with TD Waterhouse. But honestly, the deposit is really worth it. I believe certain European countries have access to Think or Swim as well, so please do your own research. If you are a new trader struggling with executing entries and exits and finding consistency, I would highly recommend going back and practice with Think or Swim on demand. There's a huge learning curve getting started with day trading and a lot of upfront capital and market tuition. That's why I always recommend using free resources online and tools like I mentioned so far in the video. And if you start seeing some small consistency after a couple of months, then it would be worth it to look at premium scanners and tools like Trade Ideas and Benzinga. Now I have some bonus free resources for beginner traders. To start tracking your setups and strategies, you'll need to journal all your trades. If you sign up to my email list down below, you'll receive a free trading journal sent straight to your email. You'll also receive a free weekend watch list, an analysis of four or five tickers I'm watching every single Sunday. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like at the bottom of this video. It's completely free to do. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the bad jokes. If you want to see more day trading content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more. If you'd like to trade with me daily and get my free weekend watch list and trading journal, make sure to check out the links below for more resources. Stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time.